All right, well, here we go. I thought I'd do an update on the blog. I haven't done that in about five weeks, so uh, now's the time. Uh, today, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the class association uh, requirements, um, uh, emergency pumps, a little bit of plumbing that associates with that, and some electrical, some hatchwork, uh, some deck beams, and some four peak um, deck plating. And uh, so let me swing the camera around and let's get to it. So as you can see here on the watertight bulkheads, I have uh, a fitting there with a gland. I guess the gland is the, is the important piece here um, through the watertight bulkhead to ensure there's uh, no water going to be uh, flowing from the cockpit area uh, into the cabin. So there's that. The uh, the pipe is going to the suction pipe is going to be attached there. I just haven't got to that yet. Um, there's the gland, and then there's also some glands here for the electrical. Uh, the electrical that I brought through there. There's one spare, which is empty, and the other three are for solar, uh, stern light, and also uh, the small tiller uh, tiller pilot helm, auto helm. So there's three there. Uh, also on this side, there is a drain way down in there. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, the drain for the uh, aft cockpit area. So that has a pipe that goes uh, all the way up there and I'll show you guys that in a moment. So as we move forward here a little bit, uh, I'll step through the companion weight, which isn't all that difficult. It's a fairly large opening. So again, you can see the uh, the penetration there for the suction line. Suction line comes underneath the bunk, which is back in this area. And in oops, and into the uh, bilge area. I'm just going to unplug this light for a moment into the bilge area. So I have these strainers, I picked them up uh, fairly inexpensively so they're going to get attached to that suction line obviously. So that's from the pump in the cockpit. There is another suction going to be uh, up in this area here and with the strainer again and that's going to be um, the pump that is going to be located in the cockpit area which is right there, one of those little whale pumps. and its overboard discharge line is going to be uh, coming up through here. I haven't fitted all that yet. Uh, an overboard discharge. Inside the locker is the plumbing. As I mentioned, there's the white line. The white line is the drain for the cockpit area, uh, underneath the cockpit area through that watertight bulkhead. Coming through here, there's actually a little valve underneath there. You can just barely see it. And that drains into the area where this suction is. So my thinking was was if there was any water in those areas the white lines would be the drains and uh, I'd at least be able to uh, pump out that area. Okay so there's also, and I'll plug in this light again, there's also watertight glands <clears throat> that are up here. One for the drain from the uh, V-birth area and that one runs into here and then down underneath the floor uh, into the bilge area. Uh, there's watertight glands back in here. I don't know if we can see them or not. Yeah, they're way back in there. So there's, uh, I don't know what I have in there, seven, six or seven of them. Uh, there's gonna be some electrical glands for um, the batteries that are in the forward compartment. Uh, nav lights for the front end and then also some lighting going to be in the V-berth area. Uh, I have here, I'll just back up a touch, I have my navigation area, there we go, and there's going to be a cabinet there obviously and uh, there will be a, a little tabletop that's going to be finished hopefully this weekend. Uh, up above is going to be where my VHF AIS is going to be, DC panel, and maybe a bookshelf on the other side. I've been working on just recently uh, the galley area, so my sink, which looks like it needs to be cleaned a little bit. I'll have to get at that. And uh, 
obviously there's still some finishing work that has to happen on this uh, but I set up a little shelf underneath there and so all my bits won't go flying all over the place and trying to utilize some of the uh, storage area. I saw on Treka 2 that they fitted a little hole back in there so then I'll be able to access that shelf area and uh, be able to utilize that space as well. So I think that's about it for the interior. Um, one thing that did, I did think about and I haven't really got a solution yet is uh, it kind of sparked my interest when the uh, stainless steel kit arrived and these little stainless steel washers were there and I was thinking to myself hmm I wonder about uh, uh, grounding uh, from lightning strikes and uh, I did fit an extra uh, electrical gland through here so I could run a cable up to the mast uh, to the deck fitting and ground it into the keel here somewhere but I haven't really thought too much more about that maybe if someone uh, has some ideas there they can share them that'd be great uh, so mainly uh, I've been working a lot on the deck area so I got the I don't know if you call them the upper chine uh, framing that's all complete uh, starting up at the bow I did some deck uh, the deck area for the four peak area uh, the stay sail um, fitting is there fitted that in there because the deck actually is not 90 degrees to frame E so I had to uh, bevel that area bit of the deck uh, you can see there uh, it's all framed in for the uh, V-berth hatch which I believe it's as per plans so whatever that size is I can't quite remember right now uh, also the mast hatch is framed in still have to do some uh, fairing work around that area but it has, is as per plans as well I believe it's a Lumar 00 um, I had to order that one new uh, off the shelf and I got the hatch there which was new as well but I got it uh, from a gentleman that had it and was selling it it was still in the box it was brand new so I got it for like half the price so it was pretty cool um, there's a lot of other little things going on uh, a little bit of stainless steel work on the outside uh, you can see there uh, one of the little handrails I still have to uh, figure out what I'm going to do for base plates and all kinds of stuff like that so that's kind of where we're at Bye for now.